That over there is Sakurajima, and it's just a short ferry ride from the city of Kagoshima. Now, Sakurajima is still an active volcano. Active meaning constantly smoking and could explode at any moment. Red hot lava running down its sides, destroying everything in its path. Sakurajima is only a few kilometers away from the city. Kagoshima is located on Kyushu Island. The 1,300 kilometers from Tokyo can be covered in a 90-minute flight or 7-hour bullet train ride. Home to 680,000 people, which makes you wonder why people would live here at all. But the city's identity is well connected with the volcano, which is what brings me here today. The power of Kagoshima's volcanic underbelly can be felt in Ibuski's Tsunamushi Onsen, or volcanic sand bath an experience documented in a previous Only in Japan episode. The ferry line will give you a cheap ride to Sakurajima in less than 20 minutes. The ferry runs 24 hours a day, but pretty empty during the off-season. It could be like this because it's a weekday afternoon. But maybe also because it's a freaking volcano! The population of Sakurajima is 4,500 people and growing quite old most young people deciding to live on the mainland. There's no high school on the island, so teenagers have to commute by ferry. You can take a bus around the island, but many things to see and do are right here near the ferry terminal. like the Hakamagoshi Karasujima Lava Trail. Anything with lava in it has got to be pretty awesome. The trail offers several kilometers of paths along the coast. It exists because lava from past eruptions pushed the island's limits, and the result is new land right here. The rocks and sand here are black. The local economy relies on produce, and you can see Mikan stands part of the year, standing alone and competing with other Mikan farmers. This one got my attention. All right, you look at that. I was in need of a snack, and here you have Island Mikan. It's a little bit smaller for 100 yen. The Sakurajima Island Mikans are well known around Kyushu. They're smaller than normal Mikans, but pack more flavor. A pack of seven or eight is super cheap. This stand includes a photo of the Mikan tree. It's based on the honor system, apparently. <laughs> That's Japan. The lava trail offers unique landscapes and plant life, and the trail itself is well built. Lots of long landscapes and sea breezes. Fresh air. Finding a boulder to sit on is easy, and picnicking is really the way to go. Boy, they're small. Mmm, sweet. There's a free onsen footbath here where you can rest your feet. Like all onsen, the water is naturally heated from the geothermal energy under the ground. <laughs> that feels good. <sighs> After a long hike around the lava park, foot bath just hits the spot. Whew. Oh, and don't forget your towel. Nearby is the Sakurajima Visitor Center. This is where you can see the history and the volcanic activity of the rock under your feet. It's shocking to think of the amount of molten hot lava flowing not far away. 
Eruptions at Sakurajima happen 100 to 200 times a year. Most are small burps compared to major eruptions where people need to be evacuated. In fact, the city of Kagoshima is sometimes covered in ash, 143 days a year, on average. People are so used to it that they sweep it off their cars and driveways like any normal day. On this day, however, no quakes or eruptions. The center is also a museum with a lot of geological data and info, which makes the trip to Sakurajima much more meaningful. There's a lot to explore here, so I boarded a bus that doesn't run very often. Once every 60 to 90 minutes. There's little traffic, so bicycling is a good alternative. It takes an hour to loop the island by bus, or a few hours by bicycle. There's the top of Sakurajima. Right now we're in Furusato, and it's famous for its onsen. There are two hotels here that have baths with beautiful seaside views. This is the Sakurajima Seaside Hotel, where both guests and day trippers can enjoy the onsen. The bath really is up against the sea. There is a changing hut where you can leave your clothes. No bathing suits allowed in Japanese baths. It's a good idea to bring your own towel and soap and shampoo set for a shower after. Entrance is usually around 500 yen. The water flows naturally from the ground and is loaded with minerals that is good for your skin and body. You can see how it's discolored the ground surface here, but it's the view that's most impressive. I timed my onsen visit with the return bus. A lot of things are closed during the off-season, like cafes and restaurants, a reason it's so quiet. But the island life must go on, and that means farming for this. The Sakurajima monster daikon radish. It grows big from the nutritious volcanic soil. There are loads of big daikon gifts and snacks representing its importance on the island. The perfect gift, obviously, was a daikon radish, so I popped into the local supermarket. These are Kagoshima daikon radishes, not quite as big as the ones grown on Sakurajima, but still way bigger than the normal sized ones, like four to six times bigger. There was still a lot more to see, like the Kurokami Buried Gate, victim of the 1914 eruption. The ferry itself is an attraction, with the delicious soba and udon shop aboard. No trip can officially end without a bowl of noodles. It's a 15-minute ride from pier to pier, so order early on. Volcano hiking adventure in Kagoshima complete. Although it's an active volcano, Sakurajima is a super chill place, and if traveling alone isn't your thing, take notice of the shop's poster. It doesn't mean you'll be alone on the trip back. More episodes of Only in Japan coming soon, on location from Hokkaido to Okinawa. Follow the adventures with up-to-date photos and clips on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching Only in Japan. Check out the latest episode, channel playlist, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Mata ne.